I literally just <laughs> I just videoed my whole video sat down spoke to the camera thought it went really really well looked at my camera and I didn't press record let me just check if it's recording right now hold up Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that it has been so long that I have posted a video. I have just had the craziest past two years ever of my life and yeah that's just a really quick kind of non really explanation to why I haven't been around but I'm back and hopefully this time I'll be uploading quite often. Well, that's the plan. Anyway, so recently I have been obsessed with these type of videos. 10 names that I love, but I won't be using. I just love them. I love watching them. I love sitting down, listening to the names and the explanations. So I thought it would be a really good idea to get back into the swings of things with this type of video. using 10 names, 5 girl names, 5 boy names that I love but I won't be using um, for a reason. I would just like to say um, just a quick little disclaimer that all of these names I love hence why I'm stating them. Um, so I do not want to offend anybody with these names or who have children with these names or who know people with these names because that's not the intention of the video. I like quite classic names, quite strong names, but names that never really go out of fashion, minus like one or two quite um, funky names. <laughs> okay, so number one is Beatrix. I love the name Beatrix. Um, Beatrix Potter is one of my favourite child authors and also my great grandmother who I unfortunately did not get to meet was her name was Beatrice um, so I would just love to use the name Beatrix with an X um, the only reason why I will not be using this name is because Jack my partner really does not like the name I tried really 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 hard when I was pregnant with our daughter to convince him for this name for literally the whole 40 weeks and he just wouldn't budge so that is why I will not be using that name number two is Amelia I think this name is absolutely stunning it is a name that both Jack and I love it was up there with our top three names until thankfully um, a close friend said oh but she would be called Millie and your last name is Terry so Millie Terry military mm -mm. That is why we will not be using that name. Um, number three is Poppy. I love the name Poppy. It has always been one of my favourite names ever and it is also Jack's favourite name. However, my cousin is called Poppy and I just don't think we could overstep that boundary and use the name. A name that I have always loved and I loved it so much that stupidly I named my cat the same name and that name is Matilda I just think it is so pretty it is so cute but it's also quite um, professional I think it's a name that's quite strong but at the same time is quite cute and Finally, so my last girl's name is is Isla. I absolutely love the name Isla. It's actually the name that I wanted to use for Lily the whole way through. Um, however, 
Jack just wasn't so keen on the name. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like the name, obviously, because I love the name, I always have, but I think the only reason why I wouldn't use it is because now that I have Lily, I don't think I could have a Lily and Isla, I just don't think those two names go together. Um, however, it could be a possible middle name, maybe, I'm not too sure. So the five boy names is, number one is George. Once again, when I got Matilda, I also got her brother, which I named George. Stupid. Number two is also William. I adore the name William, but you would have thought we learned from the first time when Matilda passed away. We got another cat and I named him William. Just note to anybody out there, if you've got a name that you love, do not call it your pet because you just won't be able to use it again. Kind of sucks. Number three is Teddy. I love the name Teddy. I have nothing to say about this name apart from I love it. But again, the last name just doesn't allow it to work. Teddy Terry, it's just quite, um, this is too much. I won't be able to use that name. Number four is the name Reef. I absolutely adore the name Reef. However, I find sometimes if I say it and I don't pronounce it properly, it quite it sounds quite like grief. And I think that my child would possibly get quite the mickey taken out of them if their name was Reef, Reef the Grief. That's all I can think about, but I wish that didn't go into my mind because that is the only thing that is stopping me from using that name. And finally, number five is Fox. I love the name. <laughs> that. I love the name Fox. However, um, when I told my mum that I loved the name Fox, she kind of just looked at me and she didn't really like the name and I would never really be able to use a name that my mum didn't like. I know that it shouldn't be really important to me, but it's something that is so, so, so important that I just wouldn't be able to, to do that. So, so that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or any video suggestions or anything you would like me to talk about, um, please leave them in the comments below. Um, it would be really greatly appreciated. See you guys next time.